What's up you guys? Welcome back to Mistake Jake Gaming. Today we're playing Elite Dangerous. We're doing another guide. This one is... I'm making this video due to a comment somebody left on my shut up phone. <laughs> it said, uh, from my planet guide to landing in night vision. Uh, said, hey Jake, nice vid. Could you make a video on combat and advanced combat for beginners? I'm going to do my best to do that. I'm hoping that this kind of leads into the direction that you're looking for. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm hoping that it will explain some things. This video is definitely going to be a little longer than normal ones that I do of my guides because there's a lot technically to go over for be even being ready for combat. I don't remember if any of the other videos that I did for guides, I talked about the your outfitting too much on that point, but... Um, I want to quickly go over some of this real quick. Uh, for me, for fighting things, yes, I like the biweave shield, especially for combat. Um, the reason I like this shield generator over others is it charges faster. It does charge faster. That is the advantage of having the thing is that it charges faster. A shield generator that sacrifices shield strength for a much faster recharge rate. Now, no, my shield strength is only 511, which is pretty low compared to some ships that I have. But, uh, like, you could put the A on it and it'll jump up a lot higher. Yeah, it will hold out a lot longer, but it doesn't charge for crap. If you can get it engineered to charge faster, an A probably would be the way to go. But for right now, for me, I prefer the Biwave because technically my ships... Uh, my integrity, as you see down there on the bottom under specs, uh, my hull integrity is very high. It's almost 2,000, which actually I'm surprised it's not 2,000. It should be, but for some reason, I did something that's changed that. I don't know. Unless they changed something in the game and I just haven't noticed. But I like having this. The reason I'm taking the crate for this and some of the fighting I'm going to do is because it's a pretty good maneuvering ship um, and I can launch fighters, which I'm not going to do right away. But... Uh, We'll go over that a little bit more later. Um, weapons for combat. I don't like fixed guns. I really don't. I got the Packhound Missile Racks here, which I got from one of the superpowers. I can't remember his name, because I, I literally went and did that just long enough that I could buy like 25 of these. I have tons of these racks stored, because I didn't want to stay with that faction, because I want to change it eventually. So... Once you left the faction, you can't get them anymore. So I just bought a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to use these missiles. And uh, this ship has three large guns. And I like the burst lasers. And plus I've engineered these a little bit so they're a little stronger than they normally are. This one weighs an awful lot for some reason. I think it's because the damage was... I don't know. The thing's changing quite a bit. I think it shot faster or it does more damage or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. So, weapons are an important thing for fighting. I like gimbaled weapons because they lock onto targets, but if the other guys use chaff and they flare, then you lose your lock. We'll probably get into some of that, too. I do like uh, using shield boosters. A lot of people think I should have a chaff launcher on here. Uh, it's not the way I like playing, so I probably won't. But what we're going to do is we're going to fly out and hopefully... I can find what I'm looking for, otherwise I may be jumping all over the place till I find it. So I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting here and there. So I'm going to do some basic ideas of what would be good for beginners to fight, what to look for, and to make sure you don't get yourself wrapped into something bad. Because this ship is pretty tough, and it can take a pretty good beating, but... Beginner ships can't take so much. I will get a little more into that once I find where I am trying to go. So I will see you guys there as soon as I get there. <laughs> okay, I think I got a little bit of time to talk here. Resource extraction sites. If you're planning on just doing, wanting to do some pirate hunting or anything like that, um, you can go to these sites and fight things. Uh, there are three or four different sites. I think there's only three, but there might be four. They may have changed it. Um, there's a low, there's a regular, and then there's a high. Oh, and there's hazardous. That's the other one. Low sites, you're going to find enemies, NPCs, that are probably lower-leveled enemies. I think the highest that I've ever seen in a low is probably expert or master. Uh, most of the others, they're all competent or mostly harmless, or harmless in different levels like that. They're usually pretty low. So, 
it's a safer place to do combat uh, for somebody that's not used to doing combat. It's a good place to practice, I guess you could say. I'm going to hope it's not dark here, because if it is, well, that wasn't on my map before. I need to look at some other directions here. Give me a second. I'm having some... Oh, it's just another low... No, that's the one I'm locked onto. Okay, there it is. There's a hazardous right there. I'll probably go to that uh, here in a minute. Actually, probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to change directions and go over here and say, screw this planet. It doesn't have what I'm looking for. Um, this one does have a low, but I'm going to go to this low here because then I can just jump into the hazardous very quickly. I was actually hoping to find a conflict zone here, but there doesn't appear to be one. There was last time I was in the game which was uh, last week. I haven't had a chance to play this in like a week. Um, there was a conflict, there were several conflict zones here in this system and now there aren't any. I'm gonna have to go find one because technically I would say conflict zones would be more of like advanced combat. At least I would associate it with advanced combat. Thargoids are a totally separate thing for fighting because they're in a league all of their own and I've never fought one and I don't even know if I have the enough good weapons that would actually do that. Yes, I could get Xeno weapons, sure. But Xeno weapons compared to the Guardian weapons that blueprints you can get, which I have none of the above, um, I don't think I really want to pick a fight with Thargoid. That's a little out of my league right now, so that's probably not a wise idea. So I probably won't be making a video on that for quite a while because I have never fought one. I went and poked at them and looked at them and stuff and they got mad, so I had to back the heck away from them before they start shooting me. <laughs> that was entertaining. I love that. But I don't think I'm ready for a fight with them yet. Okay, come on. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Combat. Well, you get here. Open your weapons. My advice for a ship, depending on your loadout and what your systems can handle and stuff and your uh, distributor and your power supply, I like having, depending on the weapons that you're using, which suck up a lot of power, if you can, you can put three in systems and three in weapons because boosting a bunch while fighting, for me, does not work very well. I end up getting into a big rigmarole of bull. Scan detected. Yeah, scan detected. You're not a bad guy. Well, basically, let's see. Probably this one right here. What are you? You are a federal dropship. He is competent, so he's not going to be too hard to kill. Whoa, somebody's shooting at him. So, he's not going to last very long. So I'm shooting three large weapons, so my weapons bar on the side drained very quick. Usually, unless I start taking a lot of shield damage, I keep everything into weapons to keep your distributor full. Because if it's if it's too low, are you that guy I scan? Yeah, you weirdo. Um, if your thing is too low, ooh, a wing of three. I bet you they are in a wing of three. This is something you need to keep in mind you may not be able to handle a wing of three depending on what you have to fly in he did boom depending on what you have on your ship fighting a wing of three is not advised i wouldn't advise it unless you think you can actually take them you can always jump out if you start to fail though so there's always other options love those missiles. They're so good. So where's the other guy? Is it you? No. They killed the other one? I think they killed the other guy. Okay. Um, now for maneuvering and stuff, like right now, I have my, as you can see down on my speed, I got my blue bar in my speed. I keep it right at the top so I can continue to have maneuvering speed. It actually goes a little faster in the middle, but I like keeping it somewhere towards the top so I get a little bit of extra speed to move around. Pretty much anything over that, 
if you start going really fast, your inertia keeps pulling you the direction you were going. See, I'm almost going to face backwards here in a second. It's trying to keep up with me, and it's really hard to do. So, blue is maneuvering speed if you're fighting stuff, basically. Oh, who's scanning me? Let's shoot something. Um, okay. Is it you? Uh, yes. Couriers. This should be easy to kill. Get out of my way, eagle. He's dead. These guys are really low level. Again, this is a low resource site, which means enemies aren't going to be that powerful here. So if you're a beginner ship, this is probably the best place to go. It, no, it does not make as much money as other spots. You're seeing what I'm getting out of these guys, 9,000, 10,000, it's not much. It's definitely good for upgrading from like a Sidewinder to an Eagle to a Viper kind of thing. But it's really doesn't do much for the pay but this is not about the pay this is about doing combat so basically that is kind of what you can do at a low site they're really easy to kill i'll try to get a little more hopefully with the hazard site for oh, i need to figure out where the heck i'm going okay it's behind me i need to fly out of these rings okay yeah Pretty much when I'm not fighting, I shove everything back into engines pretty much for most of it, and then systems for the rest. Uh, I'm hoping the hazardous is not in the dark side of the rings, because if it is, that's going to make this really, really hard to do. And we're at the hazardous site now. I'm now, see, system link error. Security response unavailable. Now, in lows and highs and regular resource sites, the uh, system security will come help you if you get shot at. So that's uh, the advantage of those places, especially for lower... I guess you could say this is kind of advanced combat here because 90% of what's here is probably not so nice. Let's see what this guy is. Don't know, okay. So um, I'm going to go over how I like to fly for combat maneuverability. Let's go over that a little bit. As I said, I like keeping my speed somewhere towards the top of the blue. Um, ships will try to get behind you. All the time they try to get behind you. Yeah, I see you scanning me. Ships will try to get behind you a bunch. This guy's deadly, which means he's going to be a little harder to kill. I'm not going to kill these guys right now because I'm working on this. Um, basically, pulling up, pulling up is easy enough to do and stuff to get around things. Um, when I pull up, I like to pull down or press up sometimes on the right joystick because obviously I'm playing on Xbox. It makes you kind of turn quicker. If you pull up and pull down, you basically flip over backwards. See, so now I'm facing the wrong way, but now I'm getting speed and going back. That's kind of how you can flip around. Once you do that, if they're still trying to get behind you, which is something they do, when you back like this... See, now I'm basically going backwards. You just shove it into reverse and continue to go backwards. That way you can keep an eye on them without having to do anything. And then they'll try to figure out how to get back around you. Now this guy is a master. Oh, jeez. Hi. This should be easy enough to pull off. I'm going to try to take out this clipper. This guy is a master, so he's going to be a little hard. See, there he flared. You can't flare off of those, though. He is a, he's being a turd. Okay, now he's coming right at me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Wee ha ha. Uh, that's one thing I like about the crate is it maneuvers very quick. But clippers maneuver better than this thing does. Okay, he's hitting me pretty good. My shields are starting to take a little bit of damage. Come on, dude. Boost away. See, so if you can stay behind him, you can get a pretty good amount of hits. Lose my missile lock. Dang it. I know temperature's critical. Missiles can be dangerous too. See, he's still shooting at me. See, that's paid a whole lot more in the other places. Some ships here will actually pay you uh, up to a hundred to three hundred thousand, depending on what it is you kill. Anacondas pay a lot. Fair to Lance will pay a lot. Um, but. This is being a hazardous site. There's no one here to help you. 
picking on a wing of three in a hazardous site is highly unrec is is highly not recommended because unless you're in something really tough my cutter probably could handle it because of what i've done to it and it's engineered out the wazoo and it could take a beating i could i could pick on a wing of five with that ship probably and i probably would survive it um this ship i would not recommend it as you can see my shields are still trying to recharge so i'm gonna shove everything into systems to get it back up and here they don't just shoot at you unless you're carrying some sort of cargo so keep that in mind if you pick up something they may want it and then they'll start shooting at you so basically after a fight if your shields are going down a little crank your systems up get your shields back up then you can go back to your weapons and start shooting stuff if you're not going to go all out like i've been shooting at these guys you can kind of half and half put three on each so your shields will take less of a hit the higher your systems the longer they stay charged but then the less you can shoot so that is something to keep in mind i don't see a has uh, i need to find a conflict zone but that's going to be a little difficult for me to do let's see if i can find one i hope that this is what you guys were actually uh wanting to talk about um, flying behind enemies is one thing, but these places are definitely the easiest for combat, especially for beginners. Low resource sites are a good place to practice uh, your combat skills and stuff because the enemy that shoots at you only shoots at you once you shoot him. Make sure you scan your targets until the thing is completely done and says that they're wanted before you shoot. Otherwise, you are wanted first or get a fine or are wanted for shooting somebody you didn't know was or was not even if they are it's still counted against you so you need to keep an eye out for that scan to finish before you shoot now i'm gonna see if i can find myself a conflict zone give me a little bit okay after about 30 different jumps in every freaking direction i finally found a low conflict zone i don't see any highs it looks like they're all lows right now. Okay, that's fine. That actually is that... Oh, there's mediums here. There's some highs. I'm not going to be doing any highs. I got a very good reason for why I won't be doing highs. Okay, where did my lows? Low conflict zone. Uh, lock destination. Uh, basically, conflict zones, I am definitely going to say, are more of the advanced combat. The reason I say that is because... Uh, well, I mean, there's a reason. Okay, I'm going to slow down a little bit. This is also something important to do if you're going to go to a conflict zone. Uh, up there telling me the conflict and who's versing who. Uh, it looks like they're all... Who we got? 305 Electronics Network and Dominion. Oh, whoop, okay. Uh, who do we got? Well, they're both, uh, cordial and neutral. I'll probably go with the 305s once I get there. I'm not exactly sure how to do this now. You side with a faction when you get there. So there's two Imperial factions fighting each other. Seems smart. Okay. Whatever. But, uh... You want to side with a faction once you get there, or you don't get any, you won't get any money for all the fighting that you do. It literally will be a waste of time. Um, hopefully, this will be simple to do. Um, conflict zones are definitely advanced combat because these are definitely more dangerous. Um, if you have a big, big ship, you can that has turrets, you can probably do a high zone. I won't be that bad um lows are good for starting but i technically wouldn't recommend even going to a low conflict zone in anything like even a viper i wouldn't go there without having something with well, at least a vulture i would not go to a conflict zone without something that's meant for fighting because these things are not the, these places i call unforgiving there is if you start doing too much damage to the enemy, they will turn and focus on you, and you'll probably see what I mean by that. Um, having a ship that launches fighters is recommended for conflict zones, unless you're a really, really good pilot, which I am not. 
I'm not that good. Yes, I know I'm entering a conflict zone. I plotted the course to said conflict zone. Thank you, game. Okay, time to drop. And as soon as I drop, I full stop and full reverse. Full freaking reverse if you have fighters, actually, if any at all. I see no enemies here. What? No contacts, really? Wow. Thanks, game. That's weird. Usually there's ships all over the place. I think I may have to go in a little bit. What is going on? <laughs> okay. This one had enemies. I had to jump to a different one. I need to... Uh, nope. That's not what I want. I need my weapons, please. Yeah, welcome aboard. I'm going to deploy my fighter again. Yes, go. Okay. Now, as you can see, there are tons of red markers all over the place. This is why this is advanced, because there are enemies freaking everywhere. What do we got? Looks like a bunch of good ships shooting this guy. So we'll try to shoot him. Send my fighter to go fight this guy. Attack this target. Thank you. Because I'm a little far away and I'm not wasting my my weight. I'm not wasting my boost. Ooh, a vulture! Yay! So the problem with this is that there's why are my guns put away? Open those. There's so many ships here that you can easily get overpowered by the enemy. Oh great, now I'm getting shot by two different ships. That's convenient. Yeah, I know I'm under attack. This is definitely what I would call advanced combat. Vultures are extremely hard to get around because they're so fast. They are a fighter after all. He's got shield banks. That's another reason that makes this more difficult. His shields are hard to bust. <laughs> Come on, ship, cool down so I can blast you. Never mind. Okay, you want to play like this. This is where I do the reverse thing, so I can get a shot on him. Now I can slow down, because he's pulling away like a weirdo. That should do something. Ooh, kerboom! Yeah, this is definitely advanced. At the moment, I'm lucky that there's no other ships trying to shoot at my face. But he's bad enough, because he's, uh... His weapons aren't that tough, which I'm kind of surprised. My shields are holding very, very well. Of course, I'm sitting still. That's probably not wise. There's a lot of chat in the background from the other ships. Die! There we go. There's one. Took some pretty good uh, shield loss there, so I'm going to have to be careful what I do. This guy is off by himself here. This is definitely advanced. I'm a, there's nothing else I can say. The difference, this is a low sight. Just picture a high sight. Uh, three times as many... Three times as many bad guys and friendlies usually flying around. The friendly amount is not looking so hot. Ow! He's shooting the plasma accelerator at me. Those things suck. So I'm assuming this explains the advanced combat. Yes, I hope. I haven't lost my shields yet. I probably won't stay here for too long. Yeah, you can't get around me. I turn faster than you. Ah, oh, you butt munch. You turned on your dang shields recharge. Too late. Go, friendly. Help me out. Kill this sack of crap. I am out of ammo. Oh, they're fast. 
This is actually doing pretty good. I don't know how long I actually have to stay here. I don't know what the new setup is for these things, but it's definitely interesting. Okay, he's dead. You guys are welcome. Where's my fighter? Uh, fighter, I need you to come back now. Uh, recall. I am in the dead center of this mess. I know. Just get your butt on the ship. So basically, that is advanced. There's tons of enemies around. Every little thing you do could technically... Oh, please don't blow yourself up. Where's my fighter? Getting shot at. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to get my fighter back. I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Hopefully you catch up. Maybe I'll just lose the... I don't even know where my fighter is. Okay, maybe I'll just lose the fighter. Whatever. Drive, fighter will be destroyed. Yeah, I know. Whatever. I can, I'll can. i just buy a new one. There's my fighter. Now it shows up. Whatever. Anyway, that is an advanced combat. For sure. Because there's so... There's a planet in front of me, I thought. Yep, there is. There's so many enemies around. You have to be careful. Having a ship with good shields? Recommended. Having a ship with a lot of armor in case your shields drop, also recommended. But uh, conflict zones are definitely not f the best place for beginners. Depending on your ship and what you've done to your ship, what you have on your ship. That is the big kicker for the whole thing, is what do you have on your ship? So you gotta have good stuff, you gotta be quick. But uh, the resource sites, best place to practice combat, for sure. And then when you want to get into some real crap, you go to a conflict zone when you find one, and you pick a side, you get combat bonds for anything that you kill when you pick your side, and you take it to a station, and you turn it in, and you get money. So that's uh, an e that's not the easiest way to make money. I'm not actually going to say that's the fastest way to make money if you're trying to make money with combat. The resource sites probably pay the best. Hazardous sites pay the most. It's about the same as a high. But uh, hazardous sites don't have security service there to help you, which also they don't get in your way when they're not there, where you accidentally shoot them and then they get mad. So there's ups and downs to both directions. But combat, literally the best form of combat is to go somewhere, pick on some small guys at low resource sites if you're new to fighting, and learn how to control your ship. Learn how to maneuver, to fly around the asteroids that are there in the rings, try to do flips around them and stuff like that, get your controls down first, and then, you know, pick a fight with a wing of one. A wing of three if you're in something a little bit bigger, but that is the safest place to do practice for combat. Once you get up to a higher point, you can go to low conflict zones. If you get a big ship like a Anaconda, the, even pythons aren't big, but they are pretty powerful. You can get something like that, you go to a conflict zone and you can do stuff there and there are community goals that involve conflict zones so that's also a good way to make some really good money but it's also dangerous to do conflict zones so that is advanced combat and regular combat my recommendations on what to do may not work for everybody but i'm hoping that it works for some of you medium intensity that's new but uh yeah Try it out, pick some small guys out and try a few things and see how it works. Try different weapons, literally. Go back to a station, change your outfitting and stuff and try different weapons and see what you actually like to use. See what's stronger, what has better range, what heats your ship up the most or whatever. Obviously my missiles overheat my ship and I took heat damage because I'm an idiot and I don't have heat sinks on my ship. so. Uh, just try different things, see what they do, and you'll find something that'll probably work for you in combat. I hope the you need to pay attention to what I'm doing, because I'm about to drop out on this station. This is an interesting spot for a station. Hello, moon. That's a landable moon. Hmm, with a ring. <laughs> Never seen one. Okay, so, I hope this did help you guys out some, and... It will get you kind of started on what to look for when you're wanting to do combat and kind of how to deal with enemies. Watch their their rank. That's the important part. The higher their rank, the more they're worth. 
for whatever type of ship they are. So thank you guys for watching. Hope this helped you out. If it did, hit the like button down below. If you have any other suggestions that aren't like go fight Thargoids, because that I probably will not be doing for a long time, uh, let me know and I'll see what I can uh, do with it. And don't get me crap about the docking computer because that's just me because I'm freaking lazy and I don't want to dock and stink its ship. So it works for me. Don't work for everybody. But yeah, let me know if there's anything else you guys can think of you want me to go over and I'll see if I can come up with something. I thought that was a capital ship there. And uh, until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.